So for the boys who are struggling to get past 5K per month, this is gonna be a good one. Now, if you're like most agency owners, you get a couple of clients, you start making a little bit of money, but then it's really fucking hard to get past that barrier of between five to 10K per month. You sign a client, you lose a client, you sign a client, you lose a client, then you can go like four months without signing anyone, feast one month for famine the next. God, I really sound like one of those shitty agency growth partner ads right now. All right, I'm gonna go off on a bit of a tangent now. I will get to the content of the video, but is anyone else sick of these shitty fucking growth partner ads? Where it's like, hey, if you're struggling to get clients, I guarantee you 90 fucking appointments in the next 90 days. And inevitably, it's some shitty agency owner who has taken an agency course, read $100 million offers, jacking off every time Iman releases a new YouTube video. And they think that as long as they use the word guarantee in their ads, it'll make them money. Anyway. Side tangent, we'll get back to the video. So I've been in the agency space since 2019 and I found that there's three main things that stop people from scaling past 5K per month. Number one is niche swapping. So imagine this, right? You take an agency course, you are told that local lead gen is the holy grail of the agency world. So you go out, you try and sign dentists, you scrape their info from Google, you do cold emails, you DM them on Instagram. And then about three weeks in, because you haven't got results yet, you start to blame the niche and say that it's too saturated. So then from there, you decide to go after chiropractors and then med spas. And then you start to blame local lead gen in general. And you're like, no, it is shit. No one wants a service. These guys have been pitched every single time. You know what? I'm going to go and help e-commerce stores with the rads. And you get caught in this vicious cycle where you are constantly swapping who your customer is. And here's why it doesn't work, right? Imagine you are a chef. You open up your restaurant and you one day you're like you know what i am going to be the best motherfucking mexican chef there is so you go out there you make your burritos you make your fajitas and after a month or so you you're not making the money that you thought you would so you go to yourself okay i'm gonna actually try sushi i'm gonna be the best sushi chef in the world and then you try that for a few weeks still don't make the money that you desire so then you go you know what i can make a really mean pasta i heard there's a lot of people who are hungry for pasta you know what I'm gonna change my restaurant and it's gonna be an Italian restaurant. And because you carry on the cycle of constantly switching dishes, you never actually perfect the dish or the menu itself. So when you started, you could make a pretty good burrito, but it wasn't great. Because it wasn't great in the beginning, it didn't get the reviews, it didn't get the customers, so then you swapped. But what you didn't realize is, if you would have just said, hey, I know my burrito isn't the best in the world right now, but if I just commit, to the next one to two years to becoming the best friggin' burrito chef in the world, I will eventually get to my end goal. And it's the same with an agency. If you just commit to being the best agency for dentists, yes, in the beginning, it's gonna suck. Yes, you're probably not gonna get the best results. Yes, it's going to be hard to get customers to begin with. But if you just commit to deliver the best dentist service out there over a one to two year period, you will get better and you will become the best in that niche. And just like if you commit to making the best burrito, you will eventually make a burrito so good that number one, your customers come back to you every single month and continue to pay you. And number two, because it tastes so damn good because you have perfected it over a two year period, guess what? They are telling their friends about it and their friends who also are really big burrito enthusiasts, they're coming to your restaurant now and you didn't have to pitch them, you didn't have to market to them, you didn't have to hand out flyers, they came to you. And it's the exact same with the agency game. As soon as you switch niches, you kill momentum and you start from scratch. And what most most people do is they get to a point where they make an okay agency owner in one particular niche, but they don't perfect it, they don't become the best, and therefore they're always getting stuck at a certain income level. All right, enough of the burrito chat. Mistake number two, which stops agencies scaling, is that they are trying to build businesses and not scale them. Because let's be fucking real, business is hard. It is hard to grow a business. And as agency owners, it's very easy to get caught in the process of trying to build fucking 10 to 20 businesses at once. Because yes, you might sign a client for paid ad services, but we all know what happens after that. Eventually, you get involved in the follow-up, you get involved with the sales team, you get involved with helping them create offers, you might do landing pages, funnel design. And before you fucking know it, you are basically the acting CMO of 10 different companies. And unless the companies that you are partnering with are already big and they're already making great money, you are doing a fucking impossible job. So my mantra when you're signing clients is only sign clients who would make money without you but they'll make more money with you if your client wouldn't make money without you and your service then you shouldn't be taking them on as a client and i know it's fucking hard in the beginning because you're hungry for money you want to sign that first client you want to get the retainers in but you have to reject the short-term cash for the long-term game because again all that's going to happen is you're going to sign four to five clients 
You're gonna effectively try and build these businesses from the ground up. It's gonna be fucking difficult. The client blames you. You're gonna be stressed out your frigging mind. You're not gonna get paid enough as well for the amount of work that you're getting put in. Because let's be honest, if there's a business and they are making less than 20 to 30K a month without you, then they have no fucking business paying you a five to 10K per month retainer. It's too expensive for them and they need to grow the business by themselves first. Now, number three, this one really pisses me off and I'm actually pretty embarrassed that I have to actually mention this. One of the biggest reasons, if not the biggest reason, why you can't scale your agency past five to 10K per month is because you're not fucking good at the service that you deliver. Now, before you start crying, we all know this to be true. And it's because the agency space has this ridiculous mindset of sign a client, try and keep them for three months, maybe even six months, if you can get them on a six month contract, and then they're gonna leave. And it's just a relentless focus on sign clients, outreach, acquisition, acquisition that has created literally hundreds of thousands of shitty agencies out there who do a bad service and they give the rest of us a bad name. So yes, you can jerk off by reading $100 million offers. You can put fucking guarantees with your clients. But if you can't deliver on the service and you can't deliver on the guarantee, then your business is fucked. So at our agency, we have three clients right now who are coming up to their two year anniversary. And I can't tell you how nice my life and business has been over the last few years because I know when we sign a client, they're gonna be with us for a long fucking time. And guess what? The only reason why these guys are with us two years on is because we make them a shitload of money. I'm not looking to extract as big of a three month retainer as I can, knowing that they're gonna leave after the initial contract. If you wanna grow your agency over the long term, you need to be good at what you do. Now for me, it's much easier to keep a client than it is to sign a new one. And plus my clients are pretty cool. I get on with them. So it's like a nice relationship. So I would fucking hate to be one of these agencies that literally has to churn through clients every single month and they have to do constant outreach every single day just to keep their income at the same level. That is not how you want to grow your agency because you will eventually burn out. So remember for agency growth, retention is better than acquisition. Now you would have noticed that all those three points had one common theme and it was about thinking long-term. Too many Many agency guys are in it for the short term cash because they're in a job that they hate and they can't wait to leave and they see all these people making all this fucking money online and they're like shit I want a piece of that let me just go and try and sign as many clients as possible I don't care who they are what business they have what service I'm going to provide as long as they can pay me that initial invoice I don't give a shit and it's cool you might make a little bit of money short term but I guarantee you will struggle to scale and you will end up hating your fucking business and a lot of the time people are more miserable working in their business than they were at the nine to five job anyway. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.